Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you are all doing good. Hope you are all fine. Children, today I am going to start with a new topic in English one, lesson number one, the hand and the rice cooker. So I want you all to take out your Sparrow seven one textbook and take out page number five. So be ready with your textbook and take out page number five. Okay, children? Yes. So in English one. Lesson number one. What is the name of the lesson? The name of the lesson is the ant and the grasshopper. So before starting the lesson, there are some new words. So shall we see the meaning of this new words? Okay, children. Scurry, move along swiftly. So what is the meaning of scurry? Move along swiftly. Hop, jump. Hop, jump. Lazily, slowly. Lazily, slowly. What is the meaning of lazily? Slowly. Well fed, having enough food. So, what is the meaning of well fed, having enough food? Summer time, summer season. So, summer time, summer season. How love mournful sound? Okay. How love mournful sound? Stagger, move or stand unsteadily. Stagger, move or stand unsteadily. Irritated, annoyed about something. What is the meaning of irritated? Annoyed about something. Frosty, covered with frost. Okay? Frosty, covered with frost. Or else a thin white layer of ice. Or else a thin white layer of ice. Chirpit, sound produced by small bird and some insects. So, what is the meaning of chirpit? Sound produced by small bird and some insects. Okay. Drag, how something to a new place. Okay. Drag, how something to a new place. Okay. This is a lesson of this is a lesson of story of a ant and the grasshopper. Children, you have heard many stories. Yes, no, children, you have heard many stories and you have heard many stories by your grandparents. Yes, no, children, you have heard many stories by your grandparents and you have read many story books. Yes, no, children, and you have read many story books. This is a story of the ant and the grasshopper. So let me tell you a small short story of a and then the grasshopper. Okay, children? Yes. One beautiful summer day, a lazy grasshopper was sitting and enjoying the sun. So, one beautiful summer day. So, what? One beautiful summer day, a lazy grasshopper. So, a lazy grasshopper, what he was doing? He was sitting and enjoying the sun. Just as he did every day. So, just as he did every day, he was sitting and enjoying the sun. Who? Grasshopper. Then a hardworking ant passed by. Then an hard work ant. Hardworking ant passed by. Very along with great effort and of course. So, what the ant was doing? He was very along with great effort and cough. So, he was very a Great effort of cord that he was taking to his nest. So he was bearing a cord. So in that he was taking to his nest. Who? The ant. Okay. Why don't you come and chat me with me? So here, what grasshopper is saying to an ant? Why don't you come and chat with me? Why don't you come and chat with me? Ask the grasshopper to ant. It's not working all day. It's not working all day. Why don't you come and chat with me? I'm saving food for the winter. So what did I say to a grasshopper? I am saving a food for a winter. I am saving a food for a winter season. Said the ant. So I'm saving a food for a winter season. So I said. I think you should do the same. So I am saying to a grasshopper. I think even you should do the same. Why do you eat when the weather gets What will you eat when the weather gets cold? So your hand is saying, what will you eat when the weather get cold? So what will you eat when the weather get cold? Here, uh, aunt is saying to a grasshopper. How will you 
you feed your hungry and household? How will you feed your hungry and household? The grasshopper laughed and said. So the grasshopper laughed and said, "You are always in a such a hurry. So you are always in a in such a hurry. Always you are in a hurry. So who is saying? Grasshopper is saying to her, and why do you always work and worry? So grasshopper is saying to her, why do you always work and hurry? Why bother about the winter now? Why we need to bother about the winter now? So who is saying? Grasshopper is saying to her. Why we need to bother about winter now? Said the grasshopper. We have got plenty of food at present. So we have got plenty of food at present. But the ant was very wise. So but the ant was very wise and did not pay attention to grasshopper words. He continued to work hard and sowed enough for the winter. So and and continued his work and started storing the food for a winter season. The winter came sooner than expected. No, winter came sooner. The grasshopper could not find a place to stay and anything to eat. So when the winter came, what happened? The grasshopper could not find a place to stay and to eat to food. He went to the ant's house and begged for food and shelter. So he was not in water. Grasshopper could not find any place to stay and for eating food. No. So what did the grasshopper do? He went to the ant house. So what did the grasshopper do? He went to the ant house and begged for the food and the shelter. What did he do? He went to the ant house and he begged for the food and the shelter. Who? Grasshopper. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. The ant said. So ant is saying, I'm sorry, I'm not able to help you. I can't help you. I only have room and food for my family. I have only room for me and my family. Okay. So go and find help from other end. So go and find help from someone else. So who is saying? Aunt is saying to a grasshopper, go and find help from somewhere else. I should have followed the aunt's example. The grasshopper said sadly. So what the grasshopper is saying? I should have followed the aunt's example. The grasshopper said sadly. So children, the moral of the story is. There is a time for work and there is a time for play. There is a time for work and there is a time for play. So if you play during the time you are supposed to work, then be ready to face consequences. Okay? If you play during the time you are supposed to work, then be ready to face the consequences. Okay, children. This is a short story of a ant and the grasshopper. So everyone, be ready with your textbook. Let me read the. Lesson for you. Okay, children. I hope you are all ready with your textbook. Okay, let me start a reading a lesson for you. Okay, lesson number one: the ant and the grasshopper. Summer had just begun. Animals and insects scurry about, enjoying the summer sun. The grasshopper hopped around lazily in the grass. He was warm, happy, and well fed. and he was chirping and singing to himself summer here the best time of the year warm sun lots of fun suddenly he heard noises coming from some taller leaves something being dragged along then soft panting and a sigh the grasshopper hopped closer and pushed aside the leaves with one of his front legs so that he could see what was happening The ant was slowly dragging a large ear of corn. Its back legs bent under the weight. Every step was an effort and he was breathing hard. Turn the page children. The grasshopper the grasshopper hopped in front of the ant. What are you doing he asked. So you always working summer time is for playing not work. The ant stopped and looked at him. Summer time is for planning and gathering," said the ant. "It's time for getting all the food we will need for the winter." The ant tried to warn the grasshopper that he needed to do some work. "Winter is far away and it is glorious day to play," sang the grasshopper and hopped off to the cornfield. 
summer turned to autumn the days were cooler but the grasshopper still found easily so he was happy so he still found the food so easily he was happy soon the winter came the grass was cold and frosty and the wind howled across fields the ant was happy in the home because his larder was full of corn and wheat knew that he had enough food to do last the entire winter the winter the snow fell earlier than as usual and finding food each day was become more difficult for the grasshopper he did not sing any more and he felt cold all the time he looked outside to see if there was a grass to eat but it was too cold for the grass outside to grow and so there was no food for the grasshopper soon the grasshopper found himself dying of hunger okay turn the next page children move to the next page for a while the grasshopper wondered what to do suddenly he remembered that the ant would always have some food he staggered to the ant's hill and saw them handing out corn from the stores they had collected in the summer he begged them for something to eat what cried the ants in surprise haven't you stored anything away for the winter what in the world were you doing all last summer i did not have time to store any food complained the grasshopper i was so busy playing music that before i knew it the summer was gone the ant was angry and irritated because it had worked very hard to collect enough food for the long winter months ahead if you haven't been lazy and had op- prepared for the winter like i had suggested you would not be hungry now i don't have any extra food for you the ant shook their heads in disgust return their bags on the grasshopper and went on with their work the grasshopper stood there not knowing what to do okay next move to the first page okay children summer had just begun okay summer had just begun animals and insects secre about enjoying the summer sun so summer had just begun summer had just begun animals and insects scurried about enjoying the summer sun so sc- what is the meaning of scurry children move along swiftly so move along swiftly the grasshopper hopped around lazily in the grass so can you see this is the grasshopper can you see the ant children this is the ant okay so the grasshopper hopped around so he hopped around so lazily in the grass so the grasshopper hopped around lazily in the grass so what is the meaning of hop children what is the meaning of hop jumped okay he was warm happy and well fed so he was very happy and well fed okay and he was chirping and singing to himself so what this grasshopper was doing he was chirping and singing to himself so what is the meaning of chirping sound produced by small bird and some insects okay sound produced by small bird and some insect so he was enjoying the summer who this grasshopper was enjoying his summer by singing a song summer is here the best time of the year so summer is here the best time of the year warm sun lots of fun suddenly he heard noises coming from the some taller leaves so when he was enjoying the summer no so grasshopper suddenly he heard noises coming from some taller leaves so what did, what noise he heard he heard the noise coming from some taller leaves something being dragged along then soft panting and sigh so something being dragged along then soft panting and sigh so something is dragging okay the grasshopper hopped closer so when he heard the noise what did the grasshopper so grasshopper hopped closer and pushed aside the leaves so he pushed aside the leaves he pushed the leaves with one of his legs so he pushed the leaves with one of his leg his front leg so that he could see what was happening so he pushed his leg and to do what was happening 
the ant was slowly dragging a large ear of corn so the ant what the ant was doing the ant was slowly dragging a large ear of corn can you see the ant children the ant is dragging a large ear of corn this is a large ear of corn can the see can you see the size of the ant and can you see the size of the corn is not there is two different so its back legs bent under the weight because of this corn wait no what happened to this ant legs the ant legs bent the ant legs bent under the weight because this is more weight than ant no corn is more weight so what happened to the ant legs so it bent under the weight so every step was effort and he was breathing hard so every step when he was stepping no every step was effort it was he was putting an effort and he was breathing very hard the ant was breathing very hard okay next turn the page the grasshopper hop in front of the ant what are you doing he has so what did the grasshopper do the grasshopper jumped in front of the ant so the grasshopper jumped in front of the ant and he is asking what are you doing so here who is asking grasshopper is asking to an ant so you are always working summer time is for play not work so here grasshopper is saying you are always working summer time is for play not work who is saying here grasshopper is saying to an ant the ant stopped and looked at him so when the ant were, when the grasshopper was saying no summer time is for play not work the ant stopped and looked at him summer time summer time is for planning and gathering okay said the ant so what the ant is saying summer time is for planning and gathering so the ant said it's time for getting all the food we will need for the winter so what the ant is saying to a grasshopper it's time for getting all the food we will need to for the winter so we need to store the food for the winter so grass uh, ant said to a grasshopper the ant tried to warn the grasshopper that he needed to do some work okay the ant tried to warn so the ant warned to the grasshopper that he needed to do some work winter is far away and it is glorious day to play so winter is far away it is glorious day to play sang the grasshopper and hopped off the corn field so he is saying the winter is very far away so again the grasshopper hopped and he went to the corn field summer turned to autumn so summer turned to autumn can you see summer turned to autumn the days were cooler so can you see the days were cooler but the grasshopper still found food easily so he was happy so the summer turned to autumn the summer turned to autumn the days were very were cooler can you see the days were cooler but the grasshopper still he was still the grasshopper was found easily he found the food easily so still he is happy who the grasshopper soon the winter came so what happened after after autumn soon the winter came the grass was cold and frosty so soon the winter came the grass was cold and frosty and the wind howled across okay soon the winter came the grass was cold the grass was cold and frosty and the wind howled across okay what is the meaning of frosty children covered with frost can you see covered with frost or thin white layer of ice can you see the thin white layer of ice okay and the wind howled across fields the ant was happy in his home so the when the winter came the ant was happy in his home because his ladder was full of corn and wheat his ladder was his cupboard was full of corn and wheat he knew that he had enough food to last the entire winter so the ant was very very happy because he was stored the food for a winter so he knew that he had a food entire for the uh, enough food to last the entire winter he has enough food for winter this winter the snow fell earlier than as usual this winter the snow fell as usual okay and finding food each day was become more difficult for the grasshopper so when the winter season started the winter the snow fell earlier than as usual as usual same thing so the snow fell 
so finding food each day became more difficult for grasshopper to find a food it became more and more difficult for the grasshopper he did not sing and move and he felt cold all the time so in the winter season what happened to the grasshopper he did not sing he did not sing and more and he felt cold all the time what he was feeling he was feeling very cold who this grasshopper he looked outside to see if there was grass to eat so grasshopper grasshopper saw he looked outside to see if there was grass to eat so grasshopper looked outside this grasshopper looked outside to see if there was grass to eat so grasshopper looked outside whether grass is there to eat but it was very cold the it was very cold for the grass outside to grow so because of the cold the grass was not able to grow it was very cold no so grow outside to grow and so there was no food for the grasshopper so there was no food for the grasshopper soon the grasshopper found himself dying of hunger so what happened to this grasshopper soon he was himself himself he was dying for hunger who this grasshopper found himself dying for an hunger for a food okay go to the next page for a while the grasshopper wonder what to do so he was thinking what to do suddenly he remembered that the ant would always have some food so suddenly he remembered who this uh, grasshopper remembered ant would always have food okay he staggered out to the ants hill and saw them handing out of can okay he staggered to the ants hill and saw them handing out corn from the stores they had collected in the summer he begged them for something to eat can you see here can you see what happened to this grasshopper grasshopper wonder what to do suddenly what what happened suddenly he remembered that the ant would always some have saved some food ant would have saved some food he staggered to the ant's hill so what is the meaning of staggered children move or stand unsteadily okay move or stand unsteadily so and saw them handing out corn from the stores that had collected in the summer so this ant has work hard no so he had collected in the summer so uh, grasshopper is begging to an ant he begged from for something to his begging the grasshopper is begging to give some food can you see yes what cried the ants in surprise haven't you stored anything away for the winter so what the ant is saying what cried the ants in surprise so ant is surprised haven't you stored anything away for the winter so ant is asking so haven't you stored any food for the winter what in the world were you doing at last in summer what were you doing in the summer so who is asking the ant is is asking to a grasshopper what you were doing at all last summer i did not have time to store any food so grasshopper is saying i did not have time to store any food complain the grasshopper i was so busy playing music that before i knew it so he is saying i was so busy playing a music so that and i knew it the summer was gone so he is saying the summer is was gone the ant was angry and irritated because it hurt work very hard so the ant was very angry the ant was very angry and he got irritated by asking because the grasshopper is begging for a food because ant has work hard so the ant was angry and irritated because it had worked very hard to collect enough food for the long winter months so for the long winter months he has collected a food ahead if you haven't been lazy and had prepared for the winter like i had stacked you i i had suggested you would not be hungry now so what the ant is saying so if you had if you haven't been lazy so if you haven't been lazy and prepared for the winter like i had suggested you you would be hung, you would not be hungry now i don't have any extra food the ant is saying i don't have any extra food for you the ant shook their heads in disgust 
turned their backs do and turned their backs on the grasshopper and went on their work so he told i don't have any give the food for you so i don't have any extra food so aunty saying i don't have any extra food for you who is saying aunty saying to a grasshopper the ant shook so what did the ant do the ant shook their head in disgust he turned their backs so the ant turned his back on the grasshopper grass and the on the grasshopper and went on their work so ant went on their work the grasshopper stood there not knowing what to do so again the grasshopper he was standing there and he was thinking what to do this is a story of a ant and the grasshopper so children what is the moral of this story there is a time for work okay as i told you there is a time for work and there is a time for play if you play during the time you are supposed to work then you should be ready to face the consequences okay always there is a time for work and always there will be a time for play so if you play during the time you are supposed to work then you be ready to face the consequences this is a story about the ant and the grasshopper so i want you all to go through this lesson read the lesson okay try to understand the lesson okay if you have any doubt regarding this lesson ask me in the interactive session okay children thank you